Hello everyone, welcome to how to install Realism Overhaul manually in Kerbal Space Program 1.12. Manually meaning without CCAN. CCAN is an installer uh, that will help you out as far as installing Realism Overhaul. I previously did a video on how to install RO with CCAN and I'll link that in the video description just in case you missed it and might want to try that way. Uh, but somebody in the comments asked me to make a video on how to do it manually and so here we are. We first must make a distinction between Realism Overhaul, which is here, and RP1, which is here. RP1 is the career mode for Realism Overhaul. It is not Realism Overhaul itself. What Realism Overhaul does is to modify the parts so that you can use them better with Real Solar System, which is here. However, Realism Overhaul does not require Real Solar System. It just suggests Real Solar System. Uh, you can technically use Realism Overhaul with any star system you please, including stock. It's just that in that case, it would be really overpowered because the real parts are not particularly well balanced for the Kerbin system. But you will have the real engines and real tanks and all that stuff for whatever system you like. But I'm going to show you how to install for real solar system. I am not going to discuss how to install RP1. First of all, that's not nearly that hard if you want to do it manually because they actually list the requirements here. The only requirement that they don't spell out is the required mods for Realism Overhaul. As you can see, it says Realism Overhaul and all of its required mods, but it doesn't tell you what they are. And if we go back to Realism Overhaul, we see that over here, this also doesn't tell you what the requirements are. You can go to the wiki, it also won't tell you what the requirements are. And so that's why I'm here to tell you what the requirements are. Now you could look in CCAN, but it won't be exactly clear because some of the requirements have other requirements. And so I have made a list of requirements. This is the list of requirements that I will link in the video description with the links to each of them so that you don't miss any. Now, when I tried to do this during live stream, I actually did miss one. And that's because it's new. It's RO Utilities. And I totally didn't know about it. But it turns out that Real Fuels, this one right here, which is critical to Realism Overhaul because it introduces the Real Fuels that the engines run on. So this did not used to require this, but in the past few months, they decided to create this RO Utilities mod and now Real Fuels requires that. And so I had missed that before because I, in my previous installs, I did not have that problem because that's just a few months old. So anyway, this is the list. This is all you need to install. And the problem that people have when they install with CCAN is they often install extra stuff that they don't really need. And that extra stuff in particular tends to make the game crash on, in, on starting up because probably people do not have enough RAM. Uh, the, the kinds of extra stuff we're talking about are parallax. That's pretty big and also the higher resolution RSS textures, which are here. So let's say you've got this. I'm going to show you how to get each one in turn. And we have a clean install of uh, Kerbal Space Program 1.12.5. So that's this, nothing in here, squad folder, that's it. And so not even the expansion packs, none of that. So first, advanced jet engine, paste, the link up there and we see that we have 2.19 actually it's 2.20 i don't this is wrong uh, so advanced jet engine 2.20 as you might suspect advanced jet engine affects the jet engines that's what it's for so it will improve your jet engines so that they are more realistic and so i've already downloaded it here it has solver engines as well i don't get the module manager from here. We want the most up-to-date module manager and we'll get it from some other place. But remember that you do need module manager. It just comes with these mods a lot of the time. So if you are liable to forget, go ahead and unzip that along with it. And then just make sure you only have one copy of module manager at the end and that's the most recent one. Okay, so we have advanced jet engines with solver engines. And if you take a look at this list, I have this section here which says also in game data installed by other things. And these are other folders you should have in game data that aren't these folders. And you'll note solver engines is one of these. 
Okay, and of course, module manager is also, it's not a folder, it's a thing in game data that you should have. So anyway, continuing on, community resource pack. This is required by Real Fuels. Stable release 112.0.1. So in it goes. Next, environmental visual enhancements. This is assuming you want clouds, and yes, you want clouds. Uh, I have linked the specific version that RSS visual enhancements seem to want. I, there is probably a more up-to-date version, but since RSS visual enhancements links to this particular version of Eve and this particular version of Scatterer, I have uh, linked those in particular. So we have Eve Redux here. Okay, so next on the list after Eve is Ferrum Aerospace. Now, there is a Ferrum Aerospace Research Continued or something like that, but I think I usually use this one. And it's 0.16.1.2 right now. And so we have it here. And we have to click into Game Data. Don't forget to do that. Modular Flight Integrator, Ferrum Aerospace Research, and KSP Burst. You know what, let me get this module manager. I think there's a more recent one, but I'll just get it in here for now. Okay, Kerbal Joint Reinforcement will reinforce your joints. And of course that's important because you'll be building much larger rockets in real solar systems, so you don't want floppy joints. And so let's toss that in. That's all there is there. Copernicus is required for anything that modifies the planets and release 198, apparently is the most recent release. Copernicus also has modular flight integrator and actually we should use the one from Copernicus. And it also contains 000 Harmony and a better version of module manager. We might as well carry the license as well. So use the modular flight integrator from Copernicus and make sure that module manager is the most recent one. ASP Community Fixes, okay, 1.34.1 1 right now. And of course, things can change. Uh, community Fixes. Some mods will suddenly depend on something new, so keep that in mind. The way I'm describing how to do this might only be applicable for a short amount of time. Anyway, Community Fixes is there. Rio Shoots. Obviously, real shoots will improve your parachutes. 1.4.8.3. Not getting the old module manager. Real fuels. Most recent one is 15.8.3. This is now real heat. Real Heat. And Real Heat is 5.1 at this point. Realism Overhaul itself. 17.7.1. That might change very quickly. I don't use the ships here. You may want to. Uh, we have Engine Group Controller and Realism Overhaul folders. Okay, real plumes, 13.3.2 at this point. We will also eventually put in waterfall for waterfall fans, but some things are only configured for real plumes, so we should make sure to have that as well. Real solar system itself, again, technically optional. 20.1.2.0 is the current version as of my recording. Okay, RO utilities. Actually, let me, well, let's not go out of order. Okay, 1.0.1.0. See, it's new. Um, RSS Textures is the one you have to be careful with. 
There are four texture packs and I'll make it easy. If you have 32 gigs of RAM, you can start off with the top one. If you have 16 gigs of RAM, you can start off with the 8K one. If you have 8 gigs of RAM, you can start off with the 4K one. If you have less than 8 gigs of RAM, you should start off with the 2K one. And that doesn't mean that's the best you can ever run. Uh, it just means that right at the start, just try that out first so that you can actually start the game. And then you should open up Task Manager and see how much RAM you are using. And then after you see how much RAM you are using, then decide whether you should upgrade to the next level up and do so smoothly until you can't anymore or stuff like that. So um, I'm just going to go for the 16K textures and that's because I have 64 gigs of RAM, so I'm okay. So the RSS texture folder is actually just named by the resolution and it is huge. Uh, even though the download size is 1.8 gig, it's actually four gigabytes and all that has to fit into your RAM. That's why you need a lot of RAM for it. Okay, RSS visual enhancements for the cloud. So we put in environmental visual enhancements but that doesn't have any configurations. This has the configurations. You have a choice between low res and high res. You should start off with low res unless you're absolutely sure that you're okay. And then you can get the high res. And after that, you need Scatterer, which will be a requirement of RSS visual enhancements. So we have a specific version here. A, a more recent version might still work, but it's best to be safe as far as RSS visual enhancements because otherwise things can look weird. And so we're getting this specific version. This is 0 0.0770. And finally, Smokescreen. Smoke, smoke screen is a requirement of real plumes and it's the only one that you're going to the forum for. Uh, incidentally, the realism overhaul thread on the forum used to have the links to everything. Uh, it does not anymore. But the best we can do is 2.8.14.0. Now, I think BlackRack has a modified, more recent version of a smoke screen. Uh, you could try that. This is for some reason a smoke screen RO. Uh, I don't know if that's, well, it just sort of pops up. It doesn't explain itself to me. So we're going to uh, go with the more recent version. I think that's probably okay. So I've got the 2.8.14. By now, we shouldn't be using the 1.7 version, hopefully. Okay. And after that, we should check. All right. We have Harmony, we have KSP Burst, we have Engine Group Controller, we have Modular Flight Integrator, we have Solver Engines, and we have Module Manager. We do not have, and this is important, anything that says Game Data inside the Game Data folder. You should not have another Game Data in here. So yes, Module Manager, no Game Data. All right, and otherwise we have these all in their individual locations. So. After that, we can go with some of the recommended things. Hanger Extender. Hanger Extender also requires toolbar control and click-through blocker. These are Linux Guru Gamer things, so we're going to get each of those. So 3.6.0.2. FS Hanger Extender. Then the requirements for it. Toolbar control point 1.9.11 and click through blocker 2.1.10.21 that's a lot of different versions <laughs> trying to block those click throughs is really hard okay then KSE Switcher allows you to go from different launch sites around the world through the world map. These are all very lightweight things. That's why I say we should just install them right away. They're not going to cause any performance impact and you're not going to require more RAM for them normally. So KSE Switcher 2.1.0.0. KSE Switcher. But these are all tiny. So procedural fairings, 6.5.0.0.
Then procedural parts, 2.5.8.0. I'd also recommend B9 procedural wings. I didn't have that on the list. Textures unlimited, 1.5.10.25 for textures unlimited. And last but not least, waterfall. Realism overhaul comes with waterfall configurations for engines. We've got 0.9.0 .0 here. Okay, and waterfall. All right, that should be all of it. So now, if you need to copy your settings file from another install, copy that over, and let's see if this works. Okay, so KSP Community Fixes offers this optimization, which I'll reject. That's not important. Only after you verify that this all works out should you add other things. You can add other things, just make sure it works out just right here with what we've got. Then check your RAM. Use Task Manager to see how much RAM you're using. Loading should be super fast, especially if you're using an SSD. Though, right when it gets to this part, expansion loading complete and it's uh, seemingly hung up. This is when it's loading the textures for the planets. So, if you chose a really big texture pack like uh, the 16K textures for real solar system, th th it'll pause here. This is when it's loading those. And also the cloud textures and all that business. Okay, so now we've loaded. Uh, I'm reading six gigabytes of RAM. And again, I had the 16K textures and also the high res RSS visual enhancements. You won't see clouds here. So toolbar controller, click through blocker usually asks for something. Uh, we do not have Cape Canaveral HD right now. That's another add on uh, that will make Cape Canaveral look a lot better. But again, we're keeping this spare. There's just the requirements and what I think are the most essential things for real realism overhaul. So if we go to the tracking station, we see there's clouds here. And we also have KSC switcher, so we can change to a different location. And when we go over here, we should see that different location. Uh, arguably, uh, Kerbal alarm clock probably is necessary. Uh, RSS date time to change the time to uh, like a different sort of time format might be good, but there's a whole long list of things. This is just because people do not have the ability to install it with CCAN, and so it's best to keep things straightforward and simple. So if we just take a look up there, we do have clouds and they will move. I'm very, I'm very insistent upon my clouds. And as far as parts go, we never we didn't install any part mod except for procedural fairings and procedural parts. So we will have the procedural tanks, and the procedural tanks should work. And you should go in a tank UI and see the many, many real fuels that you can load into the tanks. But otherwise, it's mainly the stock parts. And I've done videos where I show that you can use the stock parts to do pretty much whatever you want in real solar system as well. They have been modified. And so the engines are real engines. We've got those jet engines. We've got a Kiwi atomic rocket motor. We've got these LR87s now, and so on and so on. Uh, so you can figure out what to do with all of them. But of course, other part, part mods are available. So this is an OK install of Realism Overhaul installed manually. I'll put the text file in the video description which has all the links. Things may change, so keep uh, pay attention to that. Good luck. Uh, I It's my goal to make sure everybody who wants to play Realism Overhaul can do it, and I really encourage people to try it out because it's not that hard, and it shouldn't limit you in any way. You should be able to do anything you do in stock in here. I'm very insistent upon that. and. Uh, if it's not that case right now for you, you feel, then I'm, I'll try and make sure it is that case. So anyway, with that, thank you for watching. hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.